Cummins is involved in projects across the world to bring power to remote areas. Potawatomi, a village in western India, presented a special challenge for employees at Cummins India. The village's 10 households are located in a forest preserve, connected to the nearest town by a long, narrow path that twists up a mountain. The path isn't wide enough for vehicles. Potawatomi is reachable only by foot. More than 500 times a year, the residents of Potawatomi carry the rice they grow up that rocky path for dehusking at a mill in the town. The rice is heavy and the trip is exhausting. Residents have long dreamed of having their own rice mill to do the husking. The walk to the mill consumed time and energy that could be better spent on other farming activities. But without any source of electricity, the mill remained just a dream. <laughs> One thing Potawatomi does have is a rich population of trees. That's where the engineers from Cummins India enter the story. Working with the India Institute of Technology in Mumbai, the Cummins Engine Research Facility developed Cummins generators that run on oil from the inedible seeds of three types of trees, frequently found near remote villages in India. In April 2010, a small team from Cummins met with the leaders of the village and a charity in the region to discuss building a rice mill in Potterwadi with electricity from a Cummins generator running on vegetable oil. First, a foundation was prepared in the village for the generator building and the mill. Then, the biggest part of the job started. Bringing power to the village meant all the machinery to extract the oil from the seeds, the rice mill, and the generator had to be disassembled and carried in by foot. And the work had to be done quickly to beat the monsoon rains that start in early June. Cummins employees joined village residents and members of the charity in walking the equipment to the village. It took two days to get all the parts and components to Potawatomi. By far the heaviest item was the generator engine, some 250 kilograms, or more than 500 pounds. The engine was strapped to two long wooden poles. Lifting the poles on their shoulders, more than 20 men carried the heavy engine over the rocky path to the village. Some men wore sandals, others were barefoot. It would take nearly three days to carry the generator engine down the path to Potawatomi. Once the engine arrived, everyone worked into the night to reassemble the equipment. Before long, Potawatomi had power. Soon the rice mill was working and village residents no longer had to haul rice to the nearest town to be dehusked. It's just one example of what can happen when the power of Cummins is unleashed to improve communities. <laughs>